Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For the love of glitter, I am Anna Crossland. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Kylie Cosmetics highlighters. I loved the original highlighters. I thought they were amazing. A lot of people didn't really like them because they didn't give a super intense glow, so she came out with these. These retail for $20 each, and they were gonna be testing them out and comparing them to the old formula to see if there really is a difference. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the packaging. Here is the old packaging versus the new packaging. The old packaging was cardboard. The newer packaging is a little bit more sleek compared to the old packaging, but they do have the same amount of product in it. The only thing about the old packaging I do prefer is that the outer packaging kind of mimics the same color as the highlighter, so you don't have to look at the back. And all the new highlighters are pink cased, so you have to look at the back sticker to know which one you're getting. I mean, it's not that huge of a deal, but I guess if you own like the whole collection, it might be kind of a pain in the bottom. They do have that same drip print like the original highlighters do. And they both have a mirror, which make it perfect for traveling. I do prefer the newer packaging. I'm going to show you basically my first impressions of trying these on for the first time right now. To start off, I'm using my Morphe M510 brush. And I'm going to go in the shade Cheers Darling. This one is the kind of darker one. They call it a rose gold. Um, already I can tell that this... Uh, formula is more powdery than their original ones. Yeah, a lot more powdery. So there's Cheers Darling. It is more gold. I kind of thought it'd have more pink undertones, but it does work on my skin tone better than I thought it would. I thought it would maybe be way too dark, but it's not too bad but I still think that I'm going to like ice me out better for my skin tone but it's really pretty these go on um, a lot more like full-on blinding and you don't have to build it up like the original ones so we don't mix up the colors I'm going into my wet and wild highlighter brush and this is the ice me out one so this one looks like it's going to be just a lot lighter and icier. So I feel like, yeah, they're really powdery. Uh, their old formula was really like slippery and you didn't get any kickback. So this is really interesting. So you don't need to dip that much because <laughs> like I still feel like I have a ton on my brush. Man, these are really powdery. Yeah, these are way more, like, you don't have to build them up type of highlighters, like, they're just, because they're already <laughs> blinding. Holy crap. Yeah. So, go in lightly, like, seriously, just, like, one little tap, and start with one little tap, because do you see that? Yeah. This one especially is a lot more blinding, because it's a lot of, it's a lighter color, so. But this one, they're both really pretty, but you don't need a lot. So let's put some on my nose. So these, like I said, they're, they are really powdery though. Yeah, these are very, very soft, very blinding, but also very powdery. So here is the shade Ice Me Out, and they're real, like, you don't have to rub your finger into them very much. I feel like with the older formula, you kind of had to keep rubbing to swatch, and they're really hard to swatch. They don't look good in swatches at all, I will tell you that. Um, but here is Ice Me Out. This one is good if you are more fair to light. And here is Cheers Darling. And this one used to be called something else. It's like actually a re-promote, but in the new formula. 
and here it is. And let's watch that there. So this one is a little bit better for medium to dark skin tones, although I feel like I do kind of pull it off, like I'll still be able to wear it. Now I just want to show you how the older formula swatches so you can see the difference because you will see the difference. This is Strawberry Shortcake and it feels slippery and smooth and honestly I really loved this formula but everyone like hated them. But okay, you're going to see how it just doesn't look quite as intense. I also had to rub my finger a lot more in this one. but. I really do like them they just don't swatch the greatest and then here is the cotton candy if you want to see a video on the older highlighters I do have an entire video dedicated to that I'll link it in the description below I'm actually going to put that one right there you can't even can you even see that you like barely can even see that so as you can see they're a lot less intense compared to the new formula formula is a lot different. These ones are very slippery and kind of slick and don't have any kick up whatsoever, um, but they do kind of don't swatch the best, which that doesn't really matter anyways, but I love these because they just melt into the skin and they don't look powdery whatsoever and they're perfect for kind of a regular office job like where you don't want to be maybe too over the top uh, but some people just didn't like that they're a little bit more mellowed down I guess what I can compare these to the most is the Fenty highlighters how on one side they have the more toned down version highlighter and that's what this formula kind of reminds me of but I think it's beautiful it gives you a beautiful glow it kind of gives you the same effect as like a super shock uh, cheek from ColourPop. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Just melt into the skin and you can build these up. These ones are super intense, very powdery, kind of more like a regular highlighter. I think these formulas are more original than these ones and these definitely, those of you who really wanted intense, intense highlighters, I think these are them. They are just super powdery though and you barely have to dip your brush in them and you get a super duper intense look. You can keep building it up but it is a little bit more powdery so this is one that after I put it on I would want to go over with like a damp sponge just to kind of make it melt more into the skin where I feel like with these ones you don't have to do it all like they just blend so flawlessly. They're amazing. So honestly, for everyday wear, I think I still prefer the original highlighters. These are beautiful. I just, I think the formula on these ones are so unique and I just, I really enjoy them. So I kind of hope she doesn't discontinue these. These ones were $22 though and these were $20. Definitely need less. Super pigmented. They're very pretty. I would say if you're interested, maybe just pick up one so you can see if you like the formula. But I don't have anything negative to say just they're good but I think I like the older version better but I'm sure a lot more people will like this better because it's like your typical super intense highlighter. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys tried the old highlighters? Do you like them? I know a lot of people didn't like them but I really do. Like they're some of my favorite highlighters 